Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will discuss about the concept C-Dome. C-Dome is also known as body cavity. Body cavity. As the name indicates, body cavity means it's a cavity or fluid filled space that is present between the body wall and the digestive tube. As you know, digestive tube is present at the center of the body and body wall is present at the periphery. So whatever the space that is present between the peripheral body wall and the central digestive tube or the gut is known as body cavity or body serum. The presence or absence of this body serum or the body cavity varies from one group of organism to another group of organism. So because of that, this body serum is considered as one of the very important parameter to classify a particular organism. So based on the presence or absence of this body serum or the cavity, organisms are classified into mainly three types. That is acelomate, celomate and pseudocelomate. We will discuss it one by one. First one is acelomate. As the name indicates, a means without, celo means body cavity. So these are the organisms without body cavity or in other words fluid filled space between the gut and the body wall is absent in this organism. Then what will be present between the gut and the body wall? So in the case of adult the space between the digestive tube or the gut and the body wall is filled by the tissue and that tissue is known as parenchyme. So this parenchyme is derived from embryonic ectoderm. So parenchyme is a connective tissue which is present between the central digestive tube and the peripheral body wall in this acelomate organism. And this parenchyme is derived from ectoderm. In the embryo of this organism which is actually made up of three germ layer that is ectoderm, mesoderm and endoderm there is no body cavity or there is no trace of body cavity or serum during the embryological development. Between the ectoderm and endoderm there is a solid mesoderm and this mesoderm itself gives rise to parenchyme which is a connective tissue that is present between the digestive tube and the peripheral body wall. And this condition where there is no body serum or the cavity is known as acelome and the organisms are known as acelomate. And the example for acelomate is platyhelminthes. All the species which comes under phylum platyhelminths are acelomate or they lack fluid filled body cavity or the celome. Second type is celomate. It is also known as eucelomate. The term U refers to true. So as the name indicates, these are the organisms having true celome. Or in other words, there will be fluid filled cavity or the space present between the central digestive tube and the peripheral body wall. So if you consider the embryo of this organism, which is actually made up of three germ layer, that is ectoderm, mesoderm and endoderm. So in the mesoderm layer, you can see cavity. And this cavity is known as a celome. So if you observe carefully, this cavity or celome is surrounded on either side by mesoderm. So this green color layer is a mesoderm layer. So on either side, that is from outside as well as inside, this cavity or the celome is surrounded by mesoderm, which is a very important character of a true celome. And this mesoderm layer which surrounds the celom is gives rise to peritoneum in the case of adult. Peritoneum is a epithelial layer which is present around the body cavity or the celom which is derived from embryonic mesoderm. You know that there are two types of peritoneum that is parietal peritoneum and visceral peritoneum. Parietal peritoneum is a epithelial layer which is present just below the body wall and the visceral peritoneum is present around the digestive tube or the alimentary canal. So both the type of peritoneum is an epithelial layer which is derived from the mesoderm and it is present around the celome or the body cavity which is a very important character of a 
true coelom and it is because of this mesodermal lining of the coelom it allows the attachment of organs with each other and it allows the arrangement of organs in a particular order and the movement of organs to a certain extent so that is the benefit of mesodermal lining of the coelom and the organism which possesses this true coelom are known as coelomates and the example for coelomates is phylum annelids to phylum chordates so all the organisms from phylum annelids to chordates are coelomates or they possess true coelom next type is pseudo coelomate as the name indicate pseudo means false so these are the organisms having false body cavity so they do possess coelom or the body cavity but it is not true it is a false body cavity but why it is called as a false body cavity as i already discussed one of the very important character of a true coelom is it is bounded on either side by mesoderm layer from outside as well as from inside this body cavity is bounded by mesodermal layer but if we consider the embryo of this pseudo coelomates they do possess a cavity which is known as coelom but this coelom is surrounded externally by mesoderm this green color layer is a mesoderm so cavity is surrounded externally by mesoderm layer but it internally it is bounded by endoderm which is not a character of a true coelom so here the cavity is internally bounded by endoderm instead of mesoderm so because of that this coelom is known as a pseudo coelom or false body cavity and the organism which possesses this pseudo coelom are known as a pseudo coelomate and the example for that is phylum nematelminthes so these are the three types of coelom based on presence or absence of a body cavity apart from that coelom is also categorized into two category based on its formation that is cyzo coelom and embryo coelom we'll discuss it one by one first one is cyzo coelom as the name indicate in cyzo coelom cyzo refers to splitting and cyzo coelom is present in protostome that is phylum annelids phylum arthropod and phylum mollusc shows cyzo coelom but you know that the phylum annelida arthropod and mollusc are coelomate that is they have true coelom and true coelom is derived from mesoderm so in cyzo coelom during the formation of coelom the mesoderm layer gets splits into two layer and the outer layer get attach itself to outer ectoderm and inner layer get attach itself to inner endoderm so there will be formation of gap or space between the two layers of mesoderm and this gap itself develop into coelom and this coelom is known as cyzo coelom so in the cyzo coelom the cavity or the coelom is developed by splitting of the mesoderm so because of that it is called as cyzo coelom whereas in the case of entero coelom here entero refers to gut because in the case of entero coelom the mesoderm is developed from the wall of the embryonic gut so wall of the embryonic gut is nothing but the endoderm so mesoderm is formed from the endoderm layer as you can see in this diagram small hollow pouch grow from the endoderm and this small hollow pouch grow and it get detach itself from the endoderm and it grow independently later it forms a cavity which is known as entero coelom so here the mesoderm is derived from the embryonic endoderm so because of that it is known as entero coelom and this entero coelom is found in deuterostomes deuterostomes includes echinoderms hemichordata and chordata so whether the coelom is formed from cyzocele or entero coeli the end product is same that is true coelom is formed at the end true coelom means a cavity bounded on either side by mesoderm so true coelom is formed on either case whether it is cyzocele or entero coeli so that is regarding the coelom thank you